to go from this guy in your one of your shots that you didn't see to this. It's a completely Photoshop edited Matterport scan. Make sure you follow along. And then also at the end, I will show you how to clean up the tour that I created. When I was going through doing my edit, I noticed this guy was in my shot. So how do we get this to edit it and then put it back into the scan? That is a great question and I will show you. On the far right, you collect, you select photos and then you, up on the top right, you select a pano photo and then you take the picture. Once this picture is taken, it becomes a pano view 360 photo that you can download. So you open that picture, you make sure that it is the pano 360 that you actually selected, which this is and then you download it and you save it to a file that you'll know you'll be able to find it. And I'll save it in the matter edit. I'll save there. And now I'm going to go to Photoshop and bring that photo in. We just downloaded from Matterport and then we are going to edit the photo. And then obviously if you have a different, uh, issue different problem something you let's say you want to edit out some wiring or add a picture to the tv the same idea works the same thing you do your editing and then i will show you how to upload it so let's just do a quick edit on this guy so i'm gonna get this guy highlight him and see how the removal do tool does that is actually pretty good that's the new removal tool on uh, Adobe and it pretty much did that seamlessly. Looks pretty good. Looks like a little bit of reflection in the window. So we'll just keep that. And now that is done. So you want to save the image. I suggest maximum because this is a JPEG you are editing. So you want to maximum save. And then once it is saved, go back to your so real quick, when you save your photo, make sure you save it in uh, Dropbox, OneDrive, something like that, because we're going to be sending uh, the Matterport tour to your Android tablet. So I have a Samsung that I just purchased to be able to do this. It does not work on the iPhones. So here is the next step. So I save that photo to Dropbox. Now let's go to the tablet. Now, if you used your tablet to create this tour, then you are good to go. You're golden. But if you didn't, then you can go into spaces when you're signed in. You can find the tour, select it, and you can restore job data. And then that will create, recreate the tour in your tablet. So once you're in the tour, you figure out where you're going to be replacing. We're going to be replacing number seven. That is the one where the guy is in the screen you can see them right there so once you know which one it is you select your android camera on the top but you're not actually using the camera on the left here you see the device's camera you're going to connect an external camera or you're going to import 360 images this is not available on iphone yet so i'm going to choose import type and you can either import a 360 view and those are the ones that get attached to like a pool outside or something like that or you can do a 3d scan we did a 3d scan it's connected to my dropbox so go to my paper and photos now go to the client matter edit select it and now it'll upload now while it's uploading it'll try to line it up at number seven we're going to watch and see if it puts it in right at number seven Complete process, close it, and it is pretty much right on top. It moved it just a hair, but that is good enough. So let's go down to 48, and that's hard to see, so let's move to the desktop. forgot to mention, when, when you're done with the tablet, you upload the scan or put the scan into the tour. Make sure you re-upload the tour, and then the new tour will have the new scan. So let's go over to... And if you stick with me, I'll show you how to get rid of those trees and all that ugly stuff. All right, so it was scan number six. So I'll open up my scans, shoot over to number six, 
and there is the guy. Now, if you remember the when I uploaded the last scan, number 47, it was offset a little bit. So I just moved the hair. But you can see he is gone, and it looks completely natural, much better than a blur. And uh, if you like that, if this is helpful, like, subscribe, follow for more tips, real estate photography, and Matterports. But that is amazing. It goes from the guy being there to the guy not being there. Now, all I have to do is go up to scan number six and hide it like that. And it's not on the tour anymore. Nobody will be able to click, click it and uh, go on. Now I can go through and edit all the extra scans and stuff and continue on like I normally do. But I'm going to show you how to trim so this tour looks a little bit better. When you go outside and do things like this, it's going to start to look a little funky at times. So what I like to do is I like to go to the trim, hit the plus sign on the trim, scroll back out. And this, the way it is, is a position for the box. So I'm just going to position it over to the yard area and to this side here. And now I'm going to scale it so it's bigger, but I just lost it. So I'm going to trash that. My button must have been holding. So I'm going to scale it over. Now I have it on scale, so I'm just going to move it with the scale. And then all of this is scaling. Oh, that's why, because I have to click out. Uh, and don't worry, it's cutting a lot of stuff out, but I'll show you how to fix that. So that's what it looked like if you just let it go like that. But let's edit. I'm going to change the view of this so I can see here. Now what I want to do is raise it up so it's just getting rid of the trees and stuff on the top and maybe some walls. So I'm going to reuse the position and then move it up. And then I'll decide just over the block wall there, I think will be good. I remember this is just trimming the 3D tour or the dollhouse view, not the actual pictures or anything like that. We're just trimming the dollhouse view. Uh, you know what? I might just go down, get rid of that wall pretty much completely. And then extend out to get rid of that. Let's turn around. All right, so that is good. We can't get over here from where we are because we'll cut into the house. We'll just say that's good to go. Then we'll add another trim. I'll do the position again, and I want it to be higher. So I'll do the position. Okay, there's stuff there that must be on the other side. So let's make it scale and we'll make this a little bit wider and then we'll see. And we'll scale down until we're on top of the house. That looks pretty good. And then we'll scale out to get these. All right, that one's done. Now let's click the check mark and that looks a lot better. There's a couple more things I am going to trim up. But that's the uh, basics. Uh, I will trim up the rest and then I'll show you what it looks like. Now I don't like how this area right here is kind of jumbled up looking. Remember, you don't need it in the tour. It's more of just the fly through. So I'm going to fix that one. And on the top right, if you just go through the trims it'll it'll bring you to the one that you're looking for and i will just actually i'll extend this one i'll scale it so it extends past like that that looks a lot better so let's hit preview now it flies in and it has a lot less uh, junk and a lot a lot more appealing so we fixed the guy in the, the slider and we fixed the dollhouse view, so it's a lot more appealing. And that is all. If you found any of this helpful, if you have any questions at all, definitely like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.